And that's the weekend edition of the News Express, exclusively brought to you by Business AM Nigeria's fastest growing financial and business newspaper. So a lot of stories developed over the course of this week, and I'll be taking them through with Mr. Philip Isakwa, who's the publisher of Business AM uh, this morning. Good morning, Mr. Philip. Uh, good morning, Rachel. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. All right, so let's begin with uh, the federal government's recent move to borrow dormant account balances and unclaimed dividends, which I believe may make its way to your pages next week. Of course, this is made possible uh, with the signing of the Finance Act into law. What are your thoughts on this entire move by the federal government? And there happens to be an exemption in that act. But first, before we go into the exemption part of it, what are your thoughts on this move? Well, uh, you can look at it uh, in two ways. Is the government uh, desperate? Uh, is government broke to such an extent that uh, it, it is having to look at the different areas where it can find idle funds to, to use to, to plug uh, the holes that is in government accounting? Uh, the, the, the truth is, is there are different schools of thought regarding uh, the, the treatment of uh, particularly unclaimed dividends. Mm. You know, there's, there's a school of thought that believes that uh, the money actually belongs to uh, uh, the companies that issue the dividends in the, in the first place and that uh, such money should return to the company, you know, because uh, it can help to, to grow those companies. You know, but but government is in a, in a is in a desperate situation. Uh, the, the the world economy has not been good uh, uh, generally, and it has not been particularly uh, favorable to Nigeria. So finances are lean because oil, oil sorry, the oil prices have been yo-yoing for quite a bit or quite a long time, really, since uh, 2020 with the coronavirus uh, uh, situation that has. Uh, affected the global economy and uh, Nigeria in particular being a primary uh, 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 primary commodity uh, exporter. Now so, so there are, two, there are two, two, two things, you know uh, uh, dormant accounts, uh, bank accounts have been have been an issue for quite a long time uh, uh, people leave money in their accounts or some accounts that uh, they do not really uh, 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 did not operate for a very long time and probably did not even bother anymore. Uh, and then you have people who who, who, who opened accounts and did not inform anybody mm. about those accounts, and then they, they probably died and and uh, nobody uh, came came uh, over for them. And now those accounts have been uh, those monies have been in the banking system for uh, quite a long time, you know. And the the banking system, you know, uh, has been. Okay, if you owe banks money, banks will make a lot of noise and they'll pursue you to, uh, to, 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 to the graveyard, you know, to get their money back, you know. But you have had these tons and tons of sometimes uh, run, uh, runs into hundreds of billions of, of naira, you know, uh, that are in, in the banking system, you know. The banks are using those money anyway, you know. Mm. But because nobody is coming for them, you know, uh, it's a clever move by the by the government. You know, to see how such monies can be can be put back into a system. You know that uh, that revolves. Now, it's a good thing that government is not saying we are we are we are well, confiscating uh, uh, those monies. Mm. You know, they say we are borrowing, borrowing the money, them. Mm. You know, uh, borrowing the money from from whoever whoever owns them. When they come back to to look for them, you know, uh, we will we will we will we'll we will pay we we'll give them back and we will give them. If with interest, you know. Mm. So, so you take it out of the banking system. The banks have been using it. You know, they've been using this money for for quite a long time. You know, uh, at no uh, cost. W- without, at no cost, and not, not accounting for 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 the money, and not even uh, using. For instance, if you have it, you have tons of you have uh, what for hundreds of billions of naira. You know that is in the in, in the in the banking system. You expect that, uh, 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 given the fact that this they've been declared dormant for for many years. You know that the banking system will find a way because they are making money with this with this with this, this uh, uh, dormant uh, uh, account or dormant money that they should uh, give back some. You know to 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 uh, to 
uh, what their customers or other account holders by the way of the uh, uh, interest rate for instance you know you have ridiculous interest rate in terms of uh, uh, maybe uh, not current account but uh, savings account ridiculous mm. uh, you know you expect that they, 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 will, they, will, they will they will have over time you know been able to to, to give back this to you know but that has not happened so it's a the government is saying we are borrowing this you know it's a clever move uh, we hope that when they borrow it you know they will be able to channel the money in to productive use because every time gov- you talk about government borrowing, you know the the key thing has always been when you borrow, do you borrow for productive uh, uh, uses, you know, or do you want to borrow it, uh, borrow this money and then you find that uh, you are using to to meet uh, uh, the usual recurrent expenditure or u- the usual uh, uh, running costs, you know, that does not uh, generate uh, uh, anything, you know. So if if they if they say they are borrowing it, well and good. The the, the other one that will be a, a little bit tricky is the one of a uh, dividend, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, on, on claim dividends. Now, that, that is a bit tricky. Tricky in the sense that uh, the, the, it is profit generated by by the company, you know, uh, and then dividends dividends are paid out to, uh, to shareholders. Now, if shareholders are not claiming their money, you know, the money actually, I think, belongs to uh, the... the, 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 the the company, the shareholders, you know, the, the group, you know, that actually, you know, have uh, 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 what's it called generated or created uh, the, the, the profit that uh, uh, that resulted in paying dividend. You know, uh, even the, if, if we should be borrowing this money in case they say they want to borrow, because obviously you can have claim dividends that uh, the owners will eventually realize and come back to them. Mm-hmm. You know, and so if so if they come back, you no, know, we should be we should be we should be dealing with this. Is, is it uh, is it fair for for government to to bring out an act you know it uh, you know like like uh, the, the, the the new the finance act of 2020 to to then do this you know we 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 we, we think that uh, uh, that that that's rather dicey but there's an act already you know it's been signed into law and we expect that uh, that uh, given that they're creating a particular special fund for this to uh, to warehouse this money and then and then for government to use it, we we, believe, we hope that uh, uh, such uh, uh, such uh, what's it called the, the, the quango that is being created mm-hmm. will be an effective quango, you know. And then we hope also that you do not create new bureaucracies because the the thing about government is that they continue to grow large and large and large. When when you you, you think that you should be having a minimalist government at a time like this when things are particularly difficult, you know. So you create another quango and then very soon you have all sorts of, one analyst was saying before you know it, you know, this thing that is supposed to be temporary, you know, will become a permanent thing and then you create a secretary, you create a, what's called, managing director, you create uh, executive directors and then become the political jamboree, you know, mm. uh, for appointing people into, and then you start buying uh, SUVs and uh, uh, to, uh, uh, land cruisers and all over, uh, all over the place and then people begin to bounce about and begin to call themselves money directors and stuff like that, you know, for a simple matter of government wanting to, to borrow money, you know. Right. So, uh, government continues continues to, to create large, uh, large uh, in, 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 uh, structures for itself and then uh, you, you see, you see uh, the spending uh, continuously, especially recurrent spending, mm. continue to balloon. You know, as a result of this. Right. Now, now, there also happens to be an exemption to this direction. That act states that the official bank accounts owned by the federal government, the state government, local government, or any of their ministries, departments, or agencies are specially exempted by the act. Why is that? Well, uh, you see, the government is borrowing from we call it borrowing now right so they have created an act that uh, that uh, uh, what's it called that that uh, will allow them to have their hands on on this uh, on these funds you know whether it's whether it's a dividend uh, uh, what's it called uh, unclaimed dividend or whether it's a government account now they say oh we're exempting we're exempting government let's put it that way we're go- because there will be accounts that are dormant you know mm-hmm. there will be accounts that are belong to, to government agencies that are dormant you know and say oh we're exempted well, because we're borrowing we, we borrow money for, for government uh, purposes you know and uh, uh, I, I think what what will have to happen is 
uh, for identification of those accounts that are dormant because they ought not to be dormant. You know, uh, what what has happened in the past is that you you find a situation where uh, government agencies created multiple accounts. You know, uh, uh, again, you recall that that that's what led to the the, the establishment of uh, what you call this uh, uh, this uh, uh, God, the, the, where where, where uh, all money is paid into government into into the CBN now. You know, uh, the single treasury account. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, system. You know, so because you find. A, a, you remember those days when banks used to invade Abuja or invade whether when government was in Lagos, whether government was in Lagos. Mm. You, ha- you have a ministry with uh, multiple accounts, you know. And uh, in, in, in the course of doing all of that, there are accounts that were created that might have been forgotten, you know, uh, because uh, uh, the, because of the way they, they were created, you know. Uh, it, 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 some of them were not recognized by the, for instance, a government agency, say ministry, you know, or, or a, a, a government power structure, you know. They were not recognized because not everybody within, it, it wasn't an official, some, some of them were not created as official, you know, official accounts, you know, for the entire power sector or uh, entire agencies, you know. So you find that uh, an individual, say, say the, 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 the head of finance of a, of a particular agency, you know, has discussed, has, has, has discussed with uh, some banks and has created some accounts and put some money in, in, in those accounts and did one or two things with, with, with those accounts, you know, uh, to, with regards to the operation of the ministry. And then you have some money left here. For instance, if you if you put in two billion, two billion uh, 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 naira, you know, for the purpose of executing a project, and then you find that uh, you, you spent 1.9 billion, or, you know, that amount, you will have a, a hundred million naira left, you know, or perhaps maybe 20 million. You know, and then and then the ministry or the agency would have forgotten all of that. You know, and then those accounts. There are many many accounts like that. You know, some of some not recognized because uh, or not uh, not uh, uh, in of unofficial in official records. You know, so I would I would think that is the reason why why the government is exempting those accounts because uh, they belong to government and they are supposed to be used by by the agencies particularly concerned. You know, whether it's federal, state, whether it's local government. Or, or the agencies that uh, that uh, that are under under them, you know. So I would think that is the major reason because we the federal government says we are creating this fund. You know, we want to borrow this. We will, we will take this money into the, uh, the, the, the uh, unclaimed dividend and uh, and. Uh, and the uh, uh, unclaimed dividend and uh, government account uh, funds into this this uh, new fund that we're creating, and then we will borrow from from the fund, you know, to execute projects. So federal government is the one borrowing, you know. So uh, again, recognize that uh, the, the, when you talk about state, local, and, and uh, 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 government, so you, you you have the, the the issue of separation, you know. Uh, the federal government cannot just wake up and take state money, mm. you know. They cannot just wake up and take uh, uh, what you call uh, uh, local government money, you know, just like that, you know. So so I think constitutionally it might be, there might be an issue, you know, because the constitution will override this act, you know, eventually mm. if, 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 uh, if they attempt to do any any such thing. So I, I believe that would be the, the major reason. But the key thing I would suggest, I would think, uh, to happen is that there should be an audit you know, because it, they can they can call up this information from from the banking system. You know, so that they can recognize there will be some there will be a lot of money. You know, in in some dormant accounts belonging to whether it's federal agencies or federal parastatals or you know or or state and local government agencies that have been forgotten. You know, by the by the finance officers or finance uh, 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 heads very heads of finance that that uh, uh, work with some banks to create those those accounts. You know, and then you know, those accounts have been have been left there and uh, unoperated. This money, all of this money will be in the system anyway. You know, and then and uh, you you will expect that uh, there should be an audit, and then there should be a demand. You know, by the federal government. You know, uh, they should find a way to 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 have to ask government uh, the banks. You know, to 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 uh, uh, call up all of these accounts, and then let us know exactly. You know, uh, we are we are always scared of data or, or data, or we we we, we don't pursue data as big as as we should, you know, so they should be able to bring out uh, what they call uh, bring out those 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 uh, uh, those accounts, you mm. know, from from the banking system, and then know exactly how much uh, there are, in it, and then to be able to return those monies uh, back to the. Uh, to the agencies and parastatals or, 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 or uh, state, federal, 
and, and, and local government uh, particularly concerned. Right. Now, let's move away from that story now. Uh, 2021, a lot of projections have been made for the Nigerian economy. A typical one now from the African Development Bank, which states that uh, real GDP growth in 2021 uh, is projected to rise uh, to 3.3% uh, this year. What else are analysts projecting for the economy? Uh, there, there are lots of uh, projections coming up. Uh, I mean, that, that have been that's been coming up in, l- lately. You know, um, the, you you have one. Uh, uh, if uh, African Development Bank is saying three point uh, three point one or three point two, three point three, like it does three point three percent. You know, the World Bank is coming uh, has come up to say uh, maybe one percent. You know, uh, there are, there are people who who also talk about uh, you know the, you know the finance uh, minister you know talked about getting out of recession in the first quarter. You know, you have others. Uh, some people who are saying that, that might not uh, happen. Mm. You know uh, uh, that. Uh, Perhaps it's a wishful thinking on the part of Minister Ahmed, you know, to think that this recession will, 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 will can exit it in the first quarter, you know. So, so all sorts of predictions have come up, you know. But, but there's a mixed bag of, of, I mean, what you find out there. People, I mean, analysts will think it's neither here nor there. You know, but the positivity that people see is is in the fact that vaccines have come. You know, vaccines for coronavirus, you know, have uh, have been have been uh, uh, have been uh, are in operation at the moment in terms of uh, uh, people people getting these vaccines. And even though you have a second wave that is uh, tormenting the world at the moment, you know, and in the case of Nigeria, you you having a a, a rise. You know, uh, there's fear all over the place. You know, about a second wave that is. uh, Becoming more violent than than than, than the first wave, but the, the thing is that there is there's a glimmer of hope. You know, Nigeria is 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 an a simple, one commodity dependent uh, economy. You know, and, and and that commodity is 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 crude oil. You know, but we have. We, we have some positive news uh, uh, beginning to happen, you know, with regards to to, 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 to crude oil. You know, uh, the prices rose uh, last week when when uh, Saudi Arabia decided that it was going to cut uh, uh, production by, I think, by a million a barrel or so, you know, and, and the market reacted uh, positively, you know. So the, the thinking is that with the vaccines, you know, continue, I mean, with, 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 with vaccines, uh, 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 the World Bank particularly put it this way, or the uh, other World Bank or, or one of the rating agencies, you know, particularly put it this way. It says, depending on how widespread, you know, vaccine distribution, you know, goes, you know, it, that that the, 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 the global economy will, will improve, you know, if vaccine, you know, these vaccines are widespread and continue to be to be distributed or or, or, uh, or, or you know uh, 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 put in the in the arms of people uh, throughout 2021 uh, this year. You know, so 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 there, there, there's there's a glimmer for people think that uh, this will help. And for Nigeria, you know, uh, when when the global economy begins to pick up. Nigeria tends to react, especially with relations to, to, to crude oil, you know, and because we, we are beholden some, so which is, which is a bad thing to, to, a bad place to be in, you know, we are beholden to the global, uh, 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 what's it called, uh, permutation of uh, crude oil markets and dealers or could, the, the crude, global crude oil ma- market. You know, the, the tendency is that uh, our economy will re- respond according to the peace and the, the quietness and the the, the, the progress that mm. the global economy uh, brings to, to bear. All right, Mr. Philip, we'll have to draw the curtain at this point. I'll get back to you on Monday for a look at uh, the week's headlines. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Rachel. And that was Philip Isakwa, the publisher Business AM, Nigeria's fastest growing financial and business newspaper.